What is up guys, my name is Randy and welcome to another Black Ops 3 Life Cut Come with another True Life Story. And anyway, we're gonna start this one off. We're in a we're in a lobby right now, but we're actually gonna open a couple commons because I usually get a rare anyway, so what's the point? Anyway, I got a Reaper boast gesture. Don't have the Reaper yet. On this prestige. I got it's not bad. That's not bad. I actually really like that, but I don't use the ICR. I might have to. That actually looks really nice. Uh, it's pretty cool. Too. Anyway, so we're going to get through the true life story pretty fast here. Um, so I think it was by the end of last summer. I was taking my dog back home after like a long day at a lake or something. And it was really dark out. So I had opened my car door to let him out of the car. And he sprinted not into the direction of my house, which was on the left, but straight ahead towards the forest and I did not know what the hell he was doing. I just thought he was being an idiot. I looked up, my eyes focused because it was so dark and on the lawn of my neighbor's house was three large, large bears. Like they were huge black bears. I, th I think they were black bears. It was too dark to tell, but I'm pretty sure they were black bears. He charged at them, started barking and then he got close enough to sniff them and they just looked up at him. They didn't do anything. They just looked up and they're like, what is this fluff ball doing? Anyways, I'll give you a little clip of this idiot right here. You an idiot? Huh? Sit. Sit. High five. Good boy. Anyways, I ran after him, uh, screaming his name as loud as I could, trying to get his attention. Again, I'm going to stop messing with a few bears that could kill him with a one swipe um and it was obviously risking a little bit of my own life i wasn't getting too too close but my door was right there so i could just either hop into my car to my house pretty easily so i was pretty safe however it was still a most terrifying situation that i've been with with my dog because he could have easily died there and obviously if you've ever had a dog your dog's in any kind of danger you're usually pretty terrified especially if you actually like your dog that that would help Anyway, the bears weren't intimidated or, I guess, hungry at all because they didn't seem to care about his presence there. Uh, I Eventually, he ran back and straight towards the door when he realized what he was going up against. And I did the same. I followed him. And we actually had company over who were like, what What just happened? And I told them, and they were like, oh my god, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm fine. Ross is a... Men... Ross is insane though, and I don't know why he would do that. We should probably train him to not go after bears or something. So my uncle actually came out inside the house with me to look for the bears, and we didn't actually find them, but we heard a lot of crackling in the bushes. Good identifier that they are probably right there. As per last video, I'm probably going to add a little bit of highlights at the end of this video if I can. Not too much more to talk about. That was a quick story, but it happened. Oh, I wish Ross was smarter. He's a smart dog, but obviously he did not realize that that was super dangerous. Shit. Oh, it was a trip of feed. Oh, I thought I almost got the clad again. <laughs> no, I could have gone off there. They're all right there. Oh, I wanted to get pistol feed. No! Alright, honestly, I'm not going to hit any clips today. I don't know, my shot's, my shot's not too bad, but the lobbies aren't really fun to play in. But I do have this clip for you guys. It's a leftover clip, obviously, but it could have been so much more. Um, I'll leave you guys with that. Anyway, it's been Randy. Uh, hope you enjoy this clip. Hope you enjoyed this entire video. Uh, it's been nice. Thanks for all the support. I'm almost at 1,000 subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. So thank you guys. Uh, see you guys later. Yeah, peace.